Today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Today I'm going to deliver 12 baskets of firewood. I don't think I ever delivered that much in a single day. Matter of fact, not even close. But I think this is going to be the easiest way I have ever delivered baskets of firewood. All 12 baskets are going to the same customer and his driveway is pretty tight, especially getting, you know, this long truck and trailer into. So I'll probably unload on the road and carry them back the driveway with the mini skid and put them in place. I'll leave the mini skid there, then I'll come back and get four, maybe even five baskets, go back out, unload them, and repeat the process till we have all 12 done. Fortunately, I have the big skid loader on this end so I can leave the mini skid out there and I don't have to keep running it back and forth. I'm going to put a few more straps on things here and hit the road. And I got a good DOT story for you. So a couple weeks ago, Melissa and I were in Michigan and we were coming back and I had this tilt deck trailer on and I forget what the interstate is, but we're headed down towards Detroit and Melissa needed to stop at a rest area. So I said, okay. So I pull into this rest area. And as soon as I kind of got off the ramp there, I thought, uh-oh, it was like a very large DOT and state police presence there. And I was legal. Uh, I was under, you know, the weight limit and all that for this truck and trailer. But I had two lifts of that tongue and groove lumber on the trailer and then another one sitting on top of that. And I had everything strapped down. And you had to, like, drive through, like, a gauntlet. Remember that movie, The Gauntlet? But there was probably five troopers on my left and five on the right. And you just kind of had to creep through them, you know, three or four miles an hour. I didn't put my window down. They didn't say anything. They just kind of checked out the trailer on my way by. So we pull into the rest area and uh, we get stopped. I got talking to some truck driver there. And he said all the truck drivers use uh, Facebook pages and trucker pass and they normally avoid all that stuff and how the state police hate technology uh, because the drivers always kind of stay one step ahead of them but i guess it was like national brake check week or something i don't know what it was but we got out of there unscathed which i was happy about so i've had a lot of people asking how i am liking this ford truck uh so far so good there's a few little things, uh, the brake dust issue, I've talked about that before. I'll correct that when it needs brakes. Uh, the screen is a little bit quirky at times, uh, but besides that, I love it. It's big, I mean, it's an eight foot bed with a crew cab, and it's kind of uh, long when you're pulling a trailer and trying to get into tight places, but I love it because you can just fit so much stuff in it. Like I got back from the cabin late last night the back seat, I've got all my DeWalt tools. The whole bed is filled up with stuff. Uh, I've got a battery bank back there, chainsaw, shop vac. I'm pulling a trailer with a cord of wood and a mini skid. So it's definitely capable, and I do like that. But it is a big truck, but uh, I could never do what I'm doing right now with the half ton that I used to have. Just wouldn't happen.
right, I got the first three baskets delivered. I need to go back to the house. I need nine more. Uh, and since I left the mini skid there, uh, I'll get probably five on this next trip and then four more to finish it off. But that is the greatest thing ever. Uh, between the mini skid, the baskets, and the trailer, uh, this is by far the easiest way I have ever found to deliver firewood. And on the customer end of things, it's a huge benefit because one, they don't have to stack it if you go dump it with the dump trailer. And two, you're not leaving a big pile of bark and mess in their driveway after you dump it there. But this is something here. I think I'm on to something here. I need more baskets. I do. But, you know, if you did a couple videos on this, like on Facebook Marketplace, and show people how you deliver the wood, I think this is going to be a big thing. If you have been watching our channel for a while, you know that I take home security very seriously. And our Simply Safe system is the key component to my security plan. As you know, summer is over. And you know what that means? Kids are back in school. A lot of times your house is empty during the day, and it's a good time to reevaluate your security plan. And that is where Simply Safe comes into play. Simply Safe is comprehensive security for the whole home with advanced sensors and cameras to detect threats from break ins to fires, floods, and more. With 24 7 professional monitoring, Simply Safe agents are ready to spring into action to keep you safe, promptly assessing the situation, contacting you, and dispatching first responders to your address even if you're away or unable to respond. It's award winning home security. It was named among the best home security systems of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report. That's five years running. And Simply Safe doesn't lock you into a long-term contract. You can cancel at any time. There are no hidden fees. Pricing is transparent and affordable, and you can get 24/7 protection starting at less than a dollar a day. Simply Safe also offers exclusive 24/7 intruder intervention and smart alarm indoor camera. With intruder intervention on a core monitoring plan, Simply Safe agents can act within five seconds of receiving your alarm. Simply Safe's combo of advanced sensors, cameras, and groundbreaking monitoring technologies give you peace of mind that who and what you care about most is protected. We have had our Simply Safe system for over four years now, and it has been glitch free since the day that I installed it. And speaking of installation, it was a breeze. I had the entire system up and running in a single evening. I chose to do it myself and it was really easy, but you can have it professionally installed if you'd like. Save 50% off your Simply Safe security system plus a free indoor security camera when you sign up for a core monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash morgans to customize yours. There's no safe like Simply Safe. I threw uh, six baskets on there, so when I come back, I only have to get three more.
right, I got six more delivered. I'm going to go back to the house and get the last three. And he also has an empty that I'm bringing back with me. Uh, he put that one in the house or on the deck. So that'll give us one to fill up. But uh, yeah, going really well. I'm only about, I don't know, two and a half hours into this total. And it's about uh, 25 minutes from my house. Alright, got the last three baskets, ready to roll. All right, just got back to the wood yard. I'm gonna start calling this mini skid my EDC, everyday carry. If you go somewhere, just throw it on a trailer. It's that handy. But that is, let's see, 12 baskets of firewood. Now those are the smaller baskets, but still that is almost four full cords of wood. And I have not touched a piece of firewood today. I think this is a really good setup and once the customers realize how easy it is you're not dumping a mess in their driveway they don't have to stack it uh, you know you just charge a little bit more and it's worth every penny it really is that second trip with the six full baskets I mean the truck and the trailer handled it fine but that's quite a bit but the tilt deck you know I have both a tilt deck and a hydraulic tail I was kind of favoring the hydraulic tail trailer, but for one cord deliveries, put two baskets in the front, carry the third on with the mini skid, that's the ticket right there, that tilt deck. I'm not sure which one I like best. And uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, those tarps, uh, six by eight, I'm gonna buy some of them. My buddy up north, I gotta get with him. He has some little tarps that fit right over top of a uh, IBC tote. I think they're made of canvas. I've been trying to get with him. He's been trying to get with me. But I need to get with him and check them up. And I'm gonna start doing one or the other. Either a canvas tarp right over top of the basket or those ones like Roy had. Six by eight seem to cover them really well. But yeah. I'm pretty pleased with this. I really am. This is uh, kind of exciting. This is without a doubt the greatest way I have ever found to deliver firewood. Put it right where they want it. No mess. No physical labor. It's pretty cool. But now I need to uh, get a couple logs out. Nephew Christian is coming up here shortly. He needs some more 2 by 6s uh, He's building a new run for the chicken coop. So I'm going to go grab a red pine log here, we'll fire up the mill and get started.
All right, so we just saw six or seven two by sixes. That log was a little bit wonky, you know what I mean? It, but yeah. we got plenty of lumber. I was telling Christian, you couldn't have driven to Lowe's in the time it took to saw that. Absolutely not. How is the uh, chicken run coming? It's coming along really quickly. It's going to be solid. Everyone wants to know how the pumpkin's doing. What's the story on it? I haven't gotten any updates lately. Yeah, so I checked uh, a couple nights ago and the rodents were really getting to it. I didn't put much effort into it this year. You've been really busy this year. Yeah, but uh, I checked and the rodents were definitely getting to the bottom of it, chewing it up. So we're having a uh, contest at work. We have to make a craft, a, a boat craft, whatever holds the most weight wins and it can't be more than 30 inches. So I measured the pumpkin and it is exactly 30 inches. So there so you I go. So I went ahead and cut it yesterday. And, and you're gonna make a boat out of it? Yep. Think it'll work? Oh yeah, I tested it in the pond today. Oh, did you? It was a little sketchy, yeah. I could yeah. barely pick it up, but I put a 40 pound weight in it, no problem. So it's, it's gonna win, I think. <laughs> it's a little disappointing because it had like a month and a half to grow. Still yeah. probably, but. I didn't expect much this year. It's probably slowing down now. It's cold. Oh, for sure, yeah. I yeah. mean, it is cold. Yeah. Yeah, it's really going to slow down this month anyway, so. I was debating on a hoodie there a little bit ago, but yeah, it's, uh, right. I think it's out of the 60s today, and with the wind and everything, it's it's chilly. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, you got your two by sixes. You're good. All right. So to kind of review what we talked about here today, I think this combination of the tilt deck trailer and the mini skid and the firewood baskets is the best way that I have ever delivered firewood for a variety of reasons. As I said, I delivered nearly four cords of firewood in a couple hours and I didn't have to touch a piece of firewood. It was super simple, super easy, neat and clean. And like I said, on the customer end, it works really well. I like delivering in my dump trailer, don't get me wrong, but it would take a long time to stack four cords of wood plus the customer would have a bunch of bark and debris in his driveway that it'd have to clean up. And like I said, you just charge a little bit more. And once your customers start figuring out how easy, neat, and clean this is, I think a lot of people will go for this. I really do. If I can fit that mini skid in a basket, I can get it there with this setup right here. And I don't have to worry about backing this big truck and trailer or even the dump trailer in tight spaces. I can just unload on a road or whatever's close and there's room. But uh, I'm really pleased with this, I am. We're gonna get some more baskets and uh, kind of promote this a little bit more. I think it's a great way to deliver wood. And I know people say, oh, but you're not gonna spend $50,000 on a mini skid just to deliver firewood. That's correct, I would not do that just to deliver firewood. But that mini skid, that is just one more thing that it is good at. We use it all the time. Like I said, it's my new everyday carry. I take it down to the cabin, deliver firewood with it, use it down at the sawmill. I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds of uses for this thing. And I'm just going to say it right now. I prefer this over a tractor. It's not for everybody. Don't get me wrong. If you have big fields to mow and things like that, uh, you want a tractor, you know. But for everything that I do down at the wood yard, delivering firewood down at the cabin, uh, this would be my first choice. It would. And I'm not just saying a Vermeer. Uh, that just is the one that I bought. I got nothing in it. My first choice was probably Ditch Witch, and I couldn't get one. And then I went with Vermeer, and I'm very pleased with it so far. But keep in mind, if you are looking at these things, although they kind of look the same, there's some big differences between them. This is a big mini skid. Like I said, it handles these firewood baskets no problems at all. This one's 42 inches wide compared to some of the smaller ones uh, that are 36. So it's not real tippy like the little ones. So if it's something you're looking into, I would highly suggest uh, renting some or seeing if they'll demo one for you and make sure it's going to do what you want it to do. I think I could have gotten away with one of the smaller ones. I don't know how it would handle the firewood baskets. When it's dry, I'm sure it would handle them fine. Uh, but like I moved the big totes, I can lift them up, move them around the 330 gallon ones with green red oak with this machine. I don't think you'd ever do that with a smaller one, but I hope this was helpful. I do. I'm convinced this is a fantastic way to deliver firewood.